Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello, and welcome back to the channel where you join me at the 2021 Goodwood Festival of Speed to explore the supercar paddock, where we have hypercars like the Aston Martin Valkyrie, Lamborghini's crazy SCV12 race car, the latest supercars, cars like the McLaren Artura, Maserati MC20, and plenty more, which we're going to go and explore here in the paddock before they head on out, so we should catch some pretty epic startups and the cars rolling on here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Let's go check it out. You might already be able to hear in the background around the corner where the Lamborghinis are, we have the SCV12, we've got the McLarens over towards this side, we'll squeeze on through the very busy paddock, but the two McLaren Arturas, their new twin turbo V6 hybrid, recently launched next to it, the McLaren Elva, limited to 149 cars, the open Marquetta, we come on through, we've got the McLaren GT, followed by the 765 LT, limited to 765 cars, the coupe of the LT on the 720 platform. Then we've got the insane 720S GT3X race car. I'm gonna nip on through here past the Michelin stand because that's making quite the racket. <laughs> That is the Lamborghini SCV12. Next to it, the Aventador SVJ Roadster. The Hurricane Evo just over towards this side. That was extraordinarily noisy. If we come out this way though, what do we have over there? We've got a Koenigsegg Regera. That's Zach's garage car actually. Then we've got the Chevrolet Corvette C8. Obviously, European availability for those now. Up this way, we've got an AMG GT Black Series from my friend Zencar Driver. We've got the Topaz GT TRS MR. We've got the Ferraris and Aston Martins. So let's have a quick walk through these. Ferrari Roma, new 2 Plus GT, Portofino M. We'll come with that very shortly. In fact, that exact car. We've got a Ferrari F8 Tributo, F8 Spider. We keep coming through one of my favorites, the 812 GTS. The ultimate V12 open top, grand touring epicness, SF90 Stradale and the SF90 Spider, absolutely extraordinary car, 1000 horsepower. The lovely Ferrari Monza SP2, very distinct livery on that car as well. Over here, if we come through, we'll go back past the Aston Martins. We've got the two Zenvos, TSRS inside the stand. We've got the DB11 AMR. We've got the new Vantage Roadster with the new look front end. We've got the V12 Speedster that launched last year. Limited run, 88 cars, V12 up front, the 5.2 litre twin turbo V12, open Barquetta format. Then we have the Aston Martin Valkyrie, their new epic hypercar. Just seeing this with the doors open like that, this car is bonkers in every way. This is the ultimate in aerodynamics and engineering. It's great to see it again. About to go into production, now just about ready. Totally extraordinary. We've got the Vantage F1 edition, limited edition road car, or special version we could say as opposed to limited edition, based obviously on the F1 safety car, the new safety car. We've got the Aston Martin DBS Volante here as well in a stunning red. As you can see, it is very, very busy here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. They're all gonna be going up the hill climb run, which runs up and around the corner. I'm gonna squeeze back through this way where we've got another Corvette C8. We come on through on the other side of it. We've got the Bugatti Chiron Pursport in the bright yellow. 60 units of the more track focused version of the Bugatti Chiron. We've got the Pagani Huayra Roadster BC, one of 40 cars. I'll squeeze on through here towards the car behind the crowds here that I'm quite interested to see for the first time as well. The new Maserati MC20. MC20 obviously launching well, in 2020, follow up to the MC12 in some ways, but quite a different car. Again, a three litre twin turbo V6, the direction a lot of these things are going, but they're also gonna be making an electric version of this in the future as well. So really interested to see and hear more of that today. Now, if we squeeze on round to come and find the next lineup of cars, I'm gonna basically head on through the trees here around the back to go and see what we've got over towards this side where the display continues in, well, epic fashion. Today's cars, are just insane. It's everything from the supercar world. The best of the best, quite literally, we really tripped out there. As we come on through, we've got the Arash AF8 Falcon. You can see that back. Oh, Zenvo again with the TSRS lurking just here. Rolls Royce with the Dawn Black Badge. Um, over on this side, we've got the Callum Design Vanquish 25. The singers aren't yet uncovered, but we've got the DLS. Ah, the GT3s. New GT3 Touring 992, GT3 itself 
obviously available now with manual or with PDK in both body styles. Over on this side, the Rimac Nuvera with its, quite frankly, ludicrous acceleration and performance statistics. Quarter mile in the eights, which is out of this world. Next to it, the EV game continues with the Lotus Evian. Again, two million pound or so electric hypercar, 2,000 horsepower, monstrous performance. The Hurricane STO, one of which I have coming in a couple of months, and I cannot wait for here in the satin blue with the yellow interior as well, special sports seats. Great to have here in a different specification. I have a little wander around this car as well. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Race car for the road. And then that, the SCV12 that we were hearing just before. Proper, proper, crazy, crazy, crazy thing. Still in its camo. Got to see the model for one of those at the Lamborghini Museum not all that long ago. So in a moment, all of these are going to be starting and heading on out. And it is going to be quite a sight to see and behold as they all get on the move. Can't wait to see it. It's rollout time then, kicking off with the Ferraris. The Roma is heading on through. Stunning, stunning car. No shields. The first Ferrari to ever launch with no Scuderia shields on the side. Then we've got the Portofino M in the Celeste metallic paintwork. Very traditional look with the Coyo interior. F8 Tributo. Tributes to Ferrari's 3.9 twin turbo V8 engine and the Spider as well one of Ferrari's most successful award-winning engines of all times as they head on out, surrounded by incredible cars here as well. The 812 GTS, the gorgeous Ferrari 812 GTS. <laughs> Blue TDF, Sabia interior, I think, on that. Lovely, lovely car. SF90 Stradale, 1,000 horsepower, three electric motors, four-litre twin-turbo V8. That's an Assetto Fiorano. This is the Spider without the Assetto Fiorano. You can see the different wings between the two cars. Launch colours, oh, and then this, and then this. That is, that's just something really out there. The Ferrari Monza SP2. The sights and sounds, C8 Corvette driving through, then the Bugatti Chiron first four. Really like it in that dual tone with the X-Fighter style wing at the rear of it. The noise in the background is certainly something special. It might be the Valkyrie, we'll see in a moment. The Rolls-Royce Dawn black badge, very elegant followed by the McLaren Elva. This really has become a thing, these open speedsters, Barquettas, the likes of the Elva, V12 Speedster and the Ferrari Monza, all here in the paddock together. Artura, my first time seeing a McLaren Artura on the move. McLaren's new V6. Makes quite a nice sound, actually a very sporty grumble out of the back of that. Oh, then we've got the Porsches coming through, the shark blue of the winged GT3. With Swan next, followed by the Touring. That looks very, very smart with the chrome windows. Then we have the Heritage Jaguar F-Type. SV as well, you see the specific badge that wears on the back. McLaren GT comes on through. McLaren's more road Grand Touring focused variant. With enough space in the luggage compartment at the rear for a set of golf clubs. 765LT, that looks really nice. I think that might be Lantana Purple that car oh here we go race car time 720 s gt3 x the updated version of their gt3 car <laughs> mad aero elva in the sunshine coming back through after its little loop around silent running but the lotus Evia. look at those aero channels the way it opens up towards the rear sorry we couldn't see more of that mc20 is squeezing on through as well this is a really interesting car Really, really interesting car. I can't wait to find out more about them. Looks very nice. Neatly integrated aero. Zenvo TSRS. The wing on that actually pivots side to side as it's cornering. Rolling through the Arash AF8 that I've been in before. Big old V8 in there. Callum Design Vanquish in Callum's retake on his original car and the Rimac. Nevera, or the Rimats, as I should say, as it's pronounced in Croatian. Mate Rimats is big news, obviously, the uh, Bugatti Rimac merger. Rolling on through, Hurricane STO, 640 horsepower, a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10. Lift up at the moment. Spec looks good on that car. In the sunshine, heading out for its run. What's coming next? SBJ Roadster. DB11 AMR. Of course, at the moment, I'm waiting for the Valkyrie to roll around the corner, followed by Vantage Roadster. I do prefer that new grille. 
a little bit more traditional, fits the shapes of the car very well. I actually saw this car quite recently, AML1, flagship Aston plate on the F1, you can see the F1 edition badge on the side. Here it comes, here it comes. Listen to that gearbox. Wow, is all I can say, it's tiny. Followed by Vito of Speedster. <laughs> what a pair. The beautifully elegant Aston Martin DBS Volante. Roof up at the moment, maybe down for the run. This is race car life. Of course, you can't just drive a race car slowly, so they have to push it over towards the start line before this is going to be probably the loudest car of the supercar run here at Goodwood. <laughs> As it heads over. <laughs> the Rimac Nevera heading for its hill climb run, silently flying past us. gone down the route of doing lots of sort of limited specials. Um, it's the speedster, Maserati rather, he's, he's either on the hill or has just gone through. So uh, yes, here he is. In fact, this is it's a time World for the Valkyrie, the Aston Martin Valkyrie and, uh, is lined up on the start line. Many, many years Ferrari I can't driver, wait to hear uh, this, still as it will launch still very successful away. V12 screaming, racing. hybrid assistance. First view for most of us, I think, of the new Maserati MC. MC. It is. Wow. It is. <laughs> the, the, the front is reminiscent of the MC12. Now we've got the new BMW M240. I swear to you, I don't think it is, but I know that uh, it's been launched. Uh, it. it's still Latest it's rendition. Um, Turbo GT of the Porsche Cayenne Coupe. Alfa Romeo yeah. Giulia and GTAM. We come towards the end of the road. Cars. But, uh, it's, uh, Next is a very exciting car, the brand new Lotus Emira, also making its debut here. It's had a huge spot of interest over the hay bales between the track and where I'm standing at the moment. Looks stunning. Lamborghini SCV12 made the ground shake. How cool is this then? The line of cars returning back from their run. The F8 Spider followed by the SF90 Spider in its launch color, that golden metallic thousand horsepower in that thing. Bugatti Chiron Pursepoor, one and a half thousand horsepower in this. This is a cool view. The world's greatest cars all rolling past one after another. Interesting to see the Portofino M followed by the 812 GTS, Ferrari's two convertible front mid-engine Grand Tourers, that beautiful Ferrari Monza SP2, nice colour combination, the blue with the white lipstick with the burgundy stripe that it has down the centre, the Monza SP2 made for one of my favourite drives I've ever had in my life, followed by F8 Tributo, followed by the SF90 Stradale, Assetto Fiorano, that sounded good from the Monza's V12, Six and a half litres of V12, over 800 horsepower in the Monza. Carbon wheels on this, carbon bucket seats and that carbon rear spoiler that it wears as well. Corvette coming through, serious bang for buck out of that. Now coming to Europe officially, coming to the UK and right-hand drive as well. GT3, the blue pinstripes, has around the wheels as well. Four litre naturally aspirated, flat six. McLaren's roll through, McLaren GT. It's great to get to see all of the cars as they make their way through here. There's going to be a big battle ahead between this car, the McLaren Artura, and the new Ferrari 296 GTV. Two hybrid V6s, new era. Yet to drive a McLaren Elva, but I imagine it is quite the experience. Lightweight, Barquetta, immense performance. Race car style, as we saw earlier with the Lamborghini SCV12, just being walked back in because you don't want to be in a traffic jam or something like that. It is geared to be going Mach 10 at full speed, and the cooling and other various elements as well. Similarly, so do not like sitting in a traffic jam with the heat of the exhaust from a car right in front. 
causing its issues. And then of course, beyond that, we have the prototype of the Lotus Evaya. And this is really quite interesting because you can spot from here the channels that it has, the intakes at the side that go all the way through. And all of that design as well that's come through to the Amira. But we're literally looking at a lineup here with McLaren Alpha, the Avaya, Navira, Zenvo, Valkyrie's headlights I can spot just a little bit further beyond. <laughs> the revs I think from the Hurricane STO back there. Have a look through the air channels as it comes past us. See straight through, very, very, very cool. So the Rimac, formerly C2, now Navira. And silent running, Lamborghini Hurricane STO. That must be the sound of the Valkyrie revving down there. Extraordinary. This looks cool, doesn't it? Lovely colour. Beautiful colour. That gearbox whine that I can hear of the Valkyrie. Sorry, I'm on a mic, which makes it harder to carry all the sounds, but. Look at the aero. Mental. What a lineup. The very best cars in the world, all here together. Hypercar heaven. <laughs> that is silly loud. New customer program car. Everything is absolutely filthy from their run up the hill. It was raining earlier this morning. Thankfully, now looking a little bit dry. The first run. Bikes are running as part of the supercar paddock this year. Arash rolls in. The cars are all back then here at the supercar paddock, parked back up, but what an insane display from the hypercars to the supercars, some race cars thrown into the mix as well. The new releases like the Amira making their debut, the M240i, but also the very, very special cars that have been long awaited things like the Aston Martin Valkyrie here hitting the hill climb and what a sound that made. We got to see all three of the Barquetta hypercars, the McLaren Elva, Ferrari Monza and the Aston Martin V12 Speedster as well and plenty more with some extraordinary sounds the likes of the Lamborghini SCV12. I'm very excited about a couple of these cars soon to join the garage, more of which I can tell you about very shortly as well. But for today, what a great opportunity to see and hear all of the latest and greatest here at the 2021 Goodwood Festival of Speed. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for your support. As always, guys, stay tuned for some runs up the hill in some of the cars in the paddock behind me. I'll catch you again soon though. Thanks for watching. Cheers.